What's going on guys? Well, this morning, just got off work. It's a beautiful morning out here. So I decided to uh, go hit the water for a couple hours before I got to go work tonight. So we'll see. Last time I came over here, limited success, one little dinker trout. So such is life. Let's rock and roll. Hopefully we'll catch a couple fish this morning. <laughs> Just an absolute beautiful morning, a little cold. I don't know if this is going to be one of our last cold snaps or not. It's 49 degrees this morning. We've been having highs as high as 90 already. So it's uh, it's been interesting, to say the least. Figure the, the fish might be a little lethargic this morning. But there's not a cloud in the sky. The sun's supposed to come up. It'll be super nice today. Go over here and see if the redfish are over here in this little cut this little corner hopefully they are hopefully we'll hook up we'll see we shall see been rigging get my tackle ready rods ready I'm trying to get a couple more little personal things hopefully we'll be able to go offshore in the next couple months and uh bring some beyond the breaker action to y'all we'll see Joey said he's not ready I got another friend of mine that's pretty much set up ready to go maybe just maybe we can get out there and hook up with a couple nice kingfish or even some jacks or something but just got to keep grinding, saving. I really want a personal locator beacon just for good measure. Even rigged up a bait uh, tank for me. I can start going offshore and carrying a bait. A little bit of bait with me. I don't know if I'll use it in the bay or not. But rigged it up with a 6 amp or a 6 volt 12 amp hour battery. Uh, bait tank pump wired down to six volts so 12 and a pet food container one of the stackable pet foods I didn't go with one with the sealed lid like a lot of people did I actually went with one the, the hinged folding lid just because I thought it'd be a little easier to get a dip net in and out and actually use the darn thing we'll see if it pays off or not it was only $22 if it doesn't but I think I have a total of around a hundred bucks into it, which is one third of the cost of the one that Hobie wants to sell you. So, I figure, what the heck, totally worth it. Last time I was here when it was cool, redfish were over here in this corner. I know Joey's caught some redfish over here, so maybe we can get lucky and hook up here. Running a egret bait. Running the purple with the chartreuse. Hopefully it'll be a winner today. I might have to switch back out to the the Mardi Gras or the chicken on a chain. We'll see. I think I got me here an oyster fish. It's the biggest thing I've caught today, y'all. Good old oyster fish right there. <laughs> Good old oyster fish. Dang, I hooked them pretty good. Well, come on off there, oyster fish. See if we actually can't catch a real fish. See some type of rock fish or oyster fish or something. There we go. There we go. Fish on, guys. Fish on right there. There we go. I don't know what it is. Redfish, maybe? Drum? Oh, nice little trout. Nice speckle. Nice speckle. Quit flopping, quit flopping, quit flopping. 
We're going to do a, a mad... Oh, he came off. God bless America. Darn it. Knew he wouldn't hook good anyway. Oh, I saw it too. I was like, oh no. Oh well. He was a good 17-incher. Wasn't a humongous. But he's a fish. That I didn't catch. Of all things. There we go, guys. I was just trolling along here. And about... Oh, about three foot of water. And, uh... Full negri baits. I had a hit. Not a huge trout, but it's a trout. Let's see if I can get this one in the boat now. Boat flip. Woo! -hoo! There we go. Hey, egret bait wedge tail does it again, son. Way he goes. He hit it a lot harder than uh, than he uh, was size wise, but it's all right. Let's see how scientifically deep we are. Yeah, about three foot of water, roughly. All right. Just trolling and bouncing along the bottom right behind me. Now the key is to get turned here. A little forward momentum going. I thought I had a little bit better fish, man. That thing hit hard. He was hungry. About ripped his lips off, too, though. There's at least two hungry trout today. So there's that. They seem to always like this, uh, either the chicken on a chain or Mardi Gras color. So, just a beautiful, beautiful morning. Right. Oh. Little baby redfish here. Little baby redfish action. <laughs> there we go. Little toe venture.